All right, folks, we're back on Grenada and we just caught our first pig of the day. This episode's gonna be loaded full of these, uh, just an incredible fishery. First one of the day, early, early in the morning, having a great time. Thanks for joining me. Slabs are definitely going in the boat today. <laughs> Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. All right, I tell you what, we've caught about four or five already. That's another solid fish. Definitely not the, the biggest fish I've caught here, but still a great, great start. Let me give you a rundown of what I'm trying to do when I come to a lake and I'm trying to figure it out by myself. Nobody else is here. It's a first things first, sun protection. Always remember sun protection. There you go, that's sun protection right there. What I like to do when I come to these lakes that I haven't been to in a while and I'm by myself, I've got no input from anybody. Um, I like to go to the places that I've been before. So I go back to my sonar here on my hummingbird and I just literally will go back to the places that I feel comfortable with. Now, it doesn't sound like brain surgery. It isn't brain surgery, it's easy. You just go back to the same spots and from there you kind of learn where, where to go. Now we've got a massive warm up occurring here in the uh, in the Midwest. 100 degree temperatures in fact, record heat for this time of year. So I guess my impression is the morning they'll be rather shallow and then as the sun comes up they will be going deep which makes sense right so grenada mississippi you cannot beat it folks you have got to get down here i have started to do a occasional trip on grenada so if you have an interest in that i certainly can make that happen but it's obviously i'd like to group them together when we do these those type of things and i'll be enlisting my my good buddy uh jojo baker try try like guide service so even if you don't want to go with me I recommend him 100%, but I will be doing some trips down here. Right now we're using the the old 13 footer, and I will show some on Active Cat Captain. I've been using the 10 footer and the 13 footer. It does not matter right now. That's a whole hum fish on Grenada, which is ridiculous. It's still probably about a 12 incher, but a small fish on Grenada, right there. I switched it up. I went with a monkey milk and a black three pound fishing, 1 16 ounce head. And the reason why I did that was because I thought the drop with the 1 8 ounce head was just a little too fast for as shallow as these fish are. If I was vertical jigging, I would stick with that. I would love a, a 1 8 ounce head, but since now I've decided to go back to my 10 footer and I did that because I felt like I was spooking the fish just a little bit. Um, plus I need practice while, you know, while we're here. It's, but either way you can, you need to be able to work it both ways. And I thought the fall rate was just a little too much for as shallow as these fish are right now. This fish has decided to run. And we're going to see if we can't make him to turn. Now he's going. And I'm trying to stay back. I'm at 25 feet right now. Pretty calm water, so it's easy to stay back. But there he's kind of settled down a little bit. Let me, let me show you what we're looking at here. Obviously, there's not many targets or it's not a lot of structure that's above water. But there is some. But here's my screen. This would be a target right here that we're, we're looking at coming in right here. He's swimming away from us pretty aggressively, so he might not be choice number one, but he's a nice size fish, and that's the one we'll try to hone in at. So, see how he just ran off there quite a bit? There he goes running, okay? So, that's the struggle you have, is you, you wanna go slow enough not to spook him, but at the same time, you have to stay and, and stay with him. Now, sometimes these little stick-ups here, you'll see a fish on them, and that's actually how I caught my 379 here on Grenada, it was it was just simply on a, on a stick. Now there's actually one down in the mud as well. That would be one that I would probably go after. They tend to stay still. They're just right there on the corner of that, of that structure and that surface, so. But this is what I'm looking at. So here's another good mark coming in right here. So he's slightly moving in. And these fish will move, you know, depending upon how the bite is, sometimes these fish will move 
you know, three feet, I mean, even further if they're really feeding. Um, but if they're not, sometimes you have to get it right on their nose and that's when it come, becomes pretty frustrating. Most of your, here he comes. That's him. That's the guy we saw on the screen. And he's a solid fish. But for Grenada, he's probably considered just a, an eater fish. It's a good solid fish. And that was the fish we saw. What I'm noticing is a lot of these fish are on the, there's a lot of fish down there in the dirt. So I try to look at those as well. Here's a pro tip. I don't know if it's a pro tip or not, but uh, Milwaukee lithium battery fan. On these hot days like this, this thing will go all day. Got a constant breeze. It ain't going to get any better than that, right? I mean, that's it. Check it out. We're just moving around this eight foot mark right here, sticking around eight foot, <coughs> starting right, go right past Turkey Creek and right down this whole entire side now. And a lot of fish right up here in this corner. We got good fish, we just don't have a monster yet. We need to find a monster is what we need. That could be a good fish. That's our best of the day right there so far. Wow, that's a good fish. <laughs> that's so funny. I mean, it's just funny. Every time you're here, you catch a fish like that, you're just like, what in the heck? That is just a monster, skinny kind of, but still solid fish. Good Lord. And we marked that spot. After that, it would be 70. I just caught my biggest fish on the lake. <laughs> That's pretty darn good. Every time I come to Grenada, I make up hair jigs just for Grenada. So for this particular trip, I made these up. Hopefully you guys can see those right there. Just for this trip, and it is a, uh, it's always a delight to see if these guys work or not. So we're gonna start off with a small, what I call yellow jacket. It is loud, it is, it is obnoxious, and it is small. So, I don't really think I need a small bait here. In fact, it, I think just the opposite right now, but we're gonna try it anyway. Great thing about the small diameter braid, and I always emphasize it, is that you can cast 132nd ounce jigs like they're, they're nothing. I mean, just not a problem whatsoever. No drag in the line. Don't need to have drag. Drag in the line is created by thick diameter line with coatings on it. You do not need that. Pro tip. Pro tip. day long here in Grenada. Good fish there. Bad fish. about a pound and a half.
Booyah! All right, let me show you some pictures. That is a hog, big fish. All right, well, we're throwing them back, folks, as we do with all our fish on three pound fishing. Great day, great fish. This does not get much better than that. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.